In this museum, you can customize a robot for yourself, make customized personal robots a reality in the future. Every day, more and more nations around the world are becoming more and more interested in robots. When you think back, there was a time when the idea of robots was associated only with people who had money. But now there is not a single thing in an industry that is not being done by a robot. There is a museum in which robots are made in such a way that they are as lifelike and customizable as possible. Taking a page from science fiction, a museum is creating lifelike robots with veins on their legs and goosebumps on their skin that look exactly like humans. So you want to know more about this museum? Well then watch this video till the end. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Future Life, a perfect channel for everything about the innovation in AI. Hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. And with that being said, let's begin. So AI systems are essentially software systems or robot controllers that employ machine learning and deep learning approaches to solve problems in certain areas without hard coding all possible solutions. That is, algorithmic steps in software. As a result, artificial intelligence began to show promise in both industry and business, as well as in our daily lives. Personalized online shopping uses artificial intelligence to list down the preferences based on previous searches and filters. Even cars that have the capability of self-driving use AI to guide themselves in approaching obstacles and routes. In order to further enhance this AI journey, a Chinese museum has made a humanoid robot that is more than just an ordinary robot. And more importantly, this robot can be customized to suit the user's preferences. A company named Dalian X Future and a science museum located in the Chinese city of Dalian has invented a humanoid robot, which is one of the kinds of robots that resembles humans in appearance and also has goosebumps and wanes which look almost real. Well, the way things are going now, it seems as if the excitement for humanoids and artificial intelligence is getting even greater. In fact, I want to tell you a little more about this excitement. The skin of the robot is made from medical-grade bionic silicone, and this all process starts by scanning and 3D printing one's facial features and limbs. Using this, even palm lines can easily be printed and look almost realistic on artificial skin. You won't believe it, but this robot can give seven different basic expressions, which are melancholy, anger, joy, sorrow, brood, fear, and happiness. And more, not only this, but it can also give 10,000 kinds of compound expressions and 68 joints from its head to toes, everything movable just like humans. As well as that, the museum is now tirelessly working hard to implement some more functionalities to the robot. Since a layman, he or she would find a human more trustworthy than a robot. Humanoid robots are a good option to serve mankind as they look like humans, and with the new features introduced above, they become livelier. And a perfect example for this is recently when a museum used its robot during the time of COVID to direct people to the hospital and also take care of the COVID infected patients as there was a shortage of human nurses and doctors during the pandemic. While speaking in a local dialect over a loudspeaker, the robot, which looks like a young woman, nods, gestures and moves its lips at the ex-future science and technology museum in Jinshitan. Through the use of special COVID features embedded into humanoids, the museum confirmed 62 cases of infections and asymptomatic carriers in that region. Therefore, it would be possible for people to know whether they were infected by a virus and the virus could be prevented from spreading further. In addition, this has also led to a reduction in the medical workload of medical frontier workers and has paved the way for an even more prosperous future. In the year 2021, at the World Robot Conference, they displayed the humanoid robots of the two great people who are none other than Albert Einstein and Steve Jobs, which looks as if both of them have never died and looked the same. These two robots were also seen in a promotional clip, wishing the Chinese Happy New Year. So we can say that the world is now taking new steps in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning, and the result of such fields are humanoid robots, face recognition software, and many more. Japanese society is progressively using robots in their daily lives, which is unlike the West, where robots are confined to industrial factories and research labs. I think it is only a matter of time before robot invasion makes its way to places such as Canada in the near future. It is not only important for the home markets, but also for export potential. The robotics sector in Japan holds a lot of promise, 
There is a huge cultural disparity between the way Japanese and Western consumers view humanoid robots, which makes mainstream export, especially to the West, a challenge that this industry will have to overcome. Even robots are now used in international games, and a recent example is Beijing Games, where robots were deployed for hosting the game and even in restaurants as chefs and waiters. Robots as chefs guarantee the taste and quality of food you order every time with a definite or fixed quantity. A famous author wrote in his book about life in 2050 that by the year 2050 we will be able to hack our minds and could redesign ourselves as per our needs. We will be more used to robots as we are used to our phones and may find it difficult to identify whether a person sitting beside us on a train or any public place is a robot or a human as technology has already shown that creating a robot of someone is not at all a myth anymore. So what will the future of artificial intelligence look like? Well, the emotion research implies that, in order to assist learners with a variety of obstacles, attempts to increase positive effect should be a necessary prerequisite to any sort of instructional support. Virtual peers and humanoid robots, for example, are generally devoid of the prejudices that exist in the actual world. Thus, they may provide a safer learning environment for kids who are disadvantaged in normal education settings for a variety of reasons. Additionally, the relatively basic instrument of instructional videos may be used to increase social and emotional elements in online learning by including some effective pedagogical practices. Also, robots like these with goosebumps and veins, just like an actual person, will evolve more. They will become something more than our daily necessities. These human-like robots will not only be our workers, but they can also be our friends, caretakers, or even our partners. The AI market is set to see big things happening with companies spending nearly $20 billion on AI products and services annually. Tech giants like Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon investing billions to develop those products and services, and universities making AI a more prominent part of their respective curricula. Even MIT alone is spending $1 billion on a new college devoted solely to computing, with an AI focus. And the United States Department of Defense is upping its AI game. There are some of these advancements which are well on their way to becoming fully realized, whereas others are only theoretical and may remain so in the future. It is clear that all are disruptive, for better or for worse. And there is no sign that things are about to slow down anytime soon. When virtual peers, robots, and movies are carefully designed with an understanding of the emotional effects they can have on users, they could be very effective and successful tools. It is possible that designers may encounter difficulties when working on projects with virtual colleagues. It is important to remember, however, that when incorporating videos into an online learning environment, instructors must first take into account the affordances and limitations of this medium, as well as know what research has been conducted on it. Unless instructors take care to ensure that students are engaged on an effective level, instructors who use online videos may see their students' positive attitudes decrease and the list goes on and on. However, we should remember that this is not the end of an era. The fact remains that there will be many more to come. In fact, with time and innovation, there are bound to be many more to come. So if you want to know about such amazing tech innovations, then please stay tuned. That's all we have for this video. We hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, then comment and let us know your thoughts on this human-like robot. Also, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.